Guys, I have poor decision-making skills on a good day, and uh, they're greatly diminished if I've been drinking, which leads to me getting drunk and buying $40 worth of confiscated TSA knives that showed up that I forgot about. So let's do a TSA treasure hunt. I need to evaluate my drinking. All right, guys, you heard me in the intro. This is a box of confiscated knives from the TSA, supposedly, but it came from someone named Baseball itself. And I'm going to tell you right now, this is a ripoff. This is a scam. These may have been confiscated knives, uh, but we're going to go ahead and get that out of the way. I did open the package just to make sure there was no identifying information in there. And it says here, thank you for your purchase of a token of gratitude. I included one extra for you. I'm happy to have you as a customer and hope to deal with you again. You will not, uh, because this is the extra that they sent me. So we're going to do a little bit of TSA treasure hunting. So give me a second and we're going to start cracking into this. So now you can get these chicken is here because just because, well, this is one of the dumbest things. I, like I said, I got drunk one night. I ordered this, forgot I ordered it. It was $40 for what you see in my hand. And I guarantee there's nothing in here worth $40. So let's go ahead. I mean, we'll see. There may, there may be a gem, but based off of the freebie that they sent me, I'm going to say no. So we got a, uh, we got a Miami Beach, Florida pocket knife. We'll take a look at that one. Uh, another knockoff Swiss Army knife. This isn't an actual Swiss Army knife. Neither one of these are. Uh, what else we got here? Another knockoff garbage Swiss Army knife. We're going to look at these and see if any of them are worth A Nautica knife. Uh, and that's it. So guys, there's only five knives in here. I paid $40 for this. Neither, not a single one of these knives is worth what we paid, but we're going to look at them. So let's look at Josie's. I know it's Jose. Let's look at Jose's knife that he lost at the TSA. And it's obvious that he was, these are all just going to go in the trash. I'm probably going to get pink eye from doing this. Um, yeah, this is just a shitty, crappy, uh, knife that you would pick up at a little shop. The nail nick's on the wrong side on this. This is stainless china. Oh, you hear that? I already broke it. Look at, look at that. Look at that. So just in that, I've already, let's see, can I completely break it? Yeah, it's completely broken. Uh, <laughs> so first knife out of the box. Yeah, we're not gonna get our we're not getting our money's worth on this one. Uh, don't buy these TS. I did this so you don't have to. There's a really crappy saw on here. Can opener. Man, this is horrible. Look at that can opener. There's no way you're using that can opener. This is horrible. Oh my. Yeah, that's well, that's trash. Thanks, baseball itself. Don't buy these TSA confiscated knives. I'm pretty sure that this guy went to a swap meet and just bought a bunch of stuff off a table and said they were TSA confiscated knives. Uh, let's look at this one. So what do we got here? We have another fake Swiss Army knife. Not even branded at all. Doesn't have a logo on it. Let's see. Uh, I wish I was wearing gloves because you know what, guys? There's a toothpick in this. And you know the kind of person that would carry... One of these fake Swiss Army knives. Well, that's the kind of person that would use the toothpick that comes with a Swiss Army. Oh, that is, look at this, this is horrible. Like, I can't even get that back in correctly. Uh, this is bad. I saw, um, let's see. Yeah, look at that. Already, already it's, it's, it's developed a little bit of blade play. So this is this is the same knife. These are the same knife. This is the same knife rebranded. I mean, you can look at it and see. They're identical. These are the same knife. This is another just shitty little crappy little swap meat knife or knife that someone picked up at a little shop on the side of the road. I was hoping that maybe we would get a, a good one in this batch. Let's see. What's this? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Look at this. Look at this. And it's sticky. Look at the grind on that knife. What in the name of everything that is holy happened to this knife? Like that is, that is from the factory. 
someone paid money, and I don't know what's on this, but I definitely want to wash my hands now. Uh, what's this? Is this even a tool? Is this, is this, okay, you guys tell me, is that like a golf thing? I don't know. I don't play golf, so I don't know. Is, is this, is, is this golf stuff? This is a golf knife. I think this is a, what is, what in the name of God is that? Is this for cleaning out like the treads on you? This, this is, well, this is, this is trash. Absolute trash. Oh, uh, guys, I got to go wash my hands. Hang on. All right, guys, I, I just got back from washing my hands. I actually looked to see if I had rubber gloves. That's how bad this is. Um, oh, let's go ahead and look at this one. They're all the same knife. These are all the same knife. So this, I just did this. There you go. Stainless. Oh, wow. Look at that. Look at that sharpening job on this puppy. Look at that. Somebody. <laughs> Somebody put that on a work sharp on a, and it's, I got news for it. This powered work sharps are horrible. Look at that. That's what it did. And it still isn't sharp and they've ruined this knife. But then again, I don't think you'd be able to, oh yes, the significant amount of blade play in this. Let's see. Uh, at least this can opener has had an edge somewhat ground on it as opposed to the others. This, once again absolute trash and like i said people will buy these thinking they're gonna oh i'm gonna get a bunch of knives and and somebody left their knives at tsa no one leaves a good knife at tsa no one has a knife in their pocket that they're gonna forget about if you go to through tsa and you have a 300 hundred dollar knife in your pocket you really need to have your head examined so this this is not you're not gonna find anything good let's at least i saved the nautica for last because at least that's a brand name right chicken let's see here i don't have high hopes here folks uh just just looking at that i i don't have very high hopes on the overall <laughs> construction that we got going on what is this what's this first one uh, that was, those are scissors you know what i didn't cut with the scissors the scissors cut well a little kind of uh so let's see let's see the can opener can openers are, oh it's so gritty can openers are usually a pretty good judge of the quality of one of these like swiss army style knives because that's that's not very good let me let me show you what an actual swiss army knife can opener looks like i've got mine over here they're usually really, really good. They're very, very functional. Uh, this is what the can opener on a Swiss Army knife looks like. These are really good. My Swiss Army knives have open cans and things like that. These are great, great can openers. These, well, some knife companies have can openers on their Swiss Army style knives and others, well, they fail. Uh, <laughs> let's see, what else have we, what other functions have we got here? What is this? Is This is a thing with a hole in it. And then this is a, none of these are sharp, by the way. So that, like I'm sticking my finger in there and they're hard to get to. Uh, that is a, a nail file that is really not a nail file. It's just kind of jumped. It's not actually a file. You got a corkscrew that I wouldn't trust to pull a cork out with. All right, let's go ahead. We'll look at the blade. And once again, the nail nicks on these stainless China, they're all so sticky. I looked for gloves. I was hoping we had gloves. We do not. Um, why, why is it bent like that? Why is it, why is it curved? What is, this is, wow. Wow. I am, uh, I am, I, 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 I'd like to say I'm surprised, but I'm not. Crappy little saw on this. What else? Scissors, can opener, screwdriver with a bottle opener. That is, well, guys, I'm out $40. So, uh, yeah, don't buy the TSA confiscated knives. Just, you're better off. You're going to get just this. Uh, just buy one of these. So, all right, let's turn this around and do some final thoughts. Send you out about you. It's a no. It's a no. It's absolutely a no. This is fucking disappointing. This is, I dropped an F-bomb. This is one of the most disappointing videos I've done, and I really need to evaluate my drinking.
There you go, guys. That was the most disgusting pile of crap I've ever had come into the channel. And I've had things that we bought from Cutlery Corner Network. I don't have anything else to say. You guys know what to do. Like the videos. If you want to donate to the channel so I can afford to do more dumb things, by all means do so. I've got a membership. I've got all kinds of ways. The best way you can support the channel, like, share, subscribe, drop a comment, hit the bell icon, make sure you're subscribed. Check out all of my links down below. I've got sponsor links with Coffee Brand Coffee and Tempered Chair where there's discounts built in. I have a coupon code of Crazy Sharp. They'll save you 40% at Beyond EDC. Uh, it will also save you 10% at Fair and Forge Knifeworks, 10% at Katsu Knives, 10% at Rosecraft Blades. And uh, there's a membership down below you can join if you want to hang out uh, and do stuff like that. I give exclusive content to the members. Uh, I do giveaways and stuff like that. And I have a public Discord. Oh, there's a private Discord for those guys. So, yeah, guys, this one had me, this one had me flustered. So, uh, yeah, I love y'all and I'll see you in the next video.